Orders export and import by ATOC allows you to effortlessly migrate data between Magento and other systems in different formats. You can use this extension to move any order-related data between different versions of Magento Community and Enterprise, or between Magento and third-party software, such as accounting programs, enterprise resource planning systems, e-commerce content management systems, and others. Besides, you can use orders export and import for editing existing Magento orders without creating any duplicates. Let's see how this works. Orders export and import enables you to export the following. Orders, invoices, shipments, credit memos, and payment transactions. Basically, this is everything you see in the default Sales tab in Magento. The extension adds two new options to your Import-Export tab, ATOC Order Import and ATOC Order Export. Let's explore the Export option for now. Right away, you can create a new export profile or load an existing one. Under Loaded Profile, you can see which profile you are currently using. The profile determines which settings and filters apply to the export. Let us create a new profile and choose a store view for data export. In File Information, you can choose a data delivery method. Let us use email this time. In Data Format, you can choose between the CSV and XML formats. If you go with XML, you will be able to upload your own XSL file, which is convenient if you are migrating to a platform other than Magento and you have strict format requirements. Order filters are convenient when you need to limit the export to a selected scope of orders. Besides, the extension allows you to export data automatically upon different events. After the checkout is complete, after an invoice is created for all products in the order. It also allows export by cron. The cron settings section should be used if you have chosen automatically by cron in export settings. Now let us move to order entities and choose to entities for the export. I'm going to select just orders for now. In order fields, you can go even more granular and hand pick particular fields for your export. For instance, you might not need customer date of birth or email sent information. When you are done, either press Save to save the profile without exporting or press Save and Export to start the export. If you choose to begin the export, you will be taken to the Processor tab where you can see its progress. Once the export is complete, you will get a report with either a success message or the errors that occurred you will be able to download the exported file right there too. Finally, in the History tab, you can see any previously exported files and download, view, or delete them. Now, what if you need to import orders into Magento as opposed to exporting them? Go to ATOC Order Import and configure the settings. If you choose Yes here, orders will be imported to corresponding store views. If no corresponding store views are found, orders will be imported to the store view indicated in the next field. You can also choose to create customers based on their billing address during the import. Import behavior is an important setting that determines whether your data is imported, replaced, or deleted. If you choose Append Complex Data, only the orders that are not yet present in Magento will be imported. Replace existing complex data will replace matching orders with those you are importing. This method is ideal when you need to edit orders by first exporting them from Magento, then editing them, and then importing them back into Magento. And Delete Entities will delete any orders with IDs listed in the imported file. After you specify these settings, upload your file and click Check Data you will be taken to the Processor tab and presented with a report where you can see all the errors and warnings for the file. Now you can either press Import and Ignore Errors or Cancel to cancel the import. Orders with major errors will not be imported. There are two mandatory fields required for successful import. Increment underscore ID or Order ID, Store underscore Code, you can look it up in System Manage Stores. 
You can ignore minor errors for optional fields, and orders will be imported without these data. For the correct import of any fields associated with a custom payment method or a custom shipping method, make sure these methods exist in your Magento before the import. Again, in history, you will be able to see all the imported files, statuses, and a log with errors and warnings. A log file with errors will also be available on your server. That's it! This is how you can use orders export and import to move data between Magento and other systems. Try it risk-free today. A 30-day money-back guarantee applies.